Kitty McCabe, uh, we're back in America to face the USA. Um, do you have memories of the, the last game last May in San Jose? You came on as a sub against the States? Yeah, it was pretty surreal for me to come on uh, against the world champs. Um, it was a brilliant experience, sold out, sold out stadium and all, but and I was lucky to get on uh, for 20 minutes. This time last year, you didn't have any caps. You, you were hoping to force yourself into the squad. You were at the winter training camp in, in La Manga. 2016 has gone very well for you on the international front. Yeah, it's been brilliant. I got brought in last uh, January, so you brought me in for the friendly against Norway in La Manga, as you said. And um, no, it's gone really well. And I've shown to and Paul and Tom what I can do. And obviously, they kept me in the squad then for throughout the year. And here I am in, in America now with them. So all gone, all gone well. And when you look around the squad, there's a lot of familiar faces there because quite a few players who were part of the under-19 squad in 2014 have graduated into the senior ranks for this game. Yeah, it's definitely great to have all the girls. We were very successful. We didn't think we'd even get out of the group uh, back in 2014. So it's great to have some of the girls here experience this stuff with, uh, stuff with me and then obviously Claire coming into the squad as well. So it's, it's great to have them around. Looking ahead to 2017, what, what's your hopes and ambitions? You have a new club, you, you joined Arsenal uh, just before Christmas. Yeah, dream move for me, uh, jumping across the water, following the footsteps of Neil Fatty, Emma Bourne, Yvonne Tracy, Keir Grant. And on the international front, um, obviously the game against America on, on Saturday um, and then getting back into the Euro 2017 campaign. Yeah, obviously we're disappointed with the result against Spain, but um, we're looking forward now to Double header in April we have and we've the Cypress Cup beforehand so we've a lot of prep going into those two games so hopefully all goes well and we'll be looking for lots of points on the board. You've seven caps to your name at, at this stage but no goals yet is that one of your big ambitions for 2017? Yeah definitely I haven't been uh, too good on the goal front but uh, hopefully that's something I can work on in training and bring into the games uh, going forward whether it's in tournaments or in competitive games so hopefully I can ho hopefully I can get that going. Maybe one on Saturday? <laughs> I don't know, put one past Hope Solo, see about that, but uh, I will give it a go, see what happens.